everybody from the high altitude uh, balloon team. Um, I got the ground station set up here and I'm going to demonstrate that for you. Um, so here you can see one axis. Obviously it wouldn't move this fast in, uh, in tracking, but you get the idea. And then I'm going to tilt it as well. Everything's working pretty good. Now we're gonna zoom in so you can see the details a little better. I'll tilt it here, and then we'll zoom in on that gear, tilt gear. lifts the uh, dish up and down and then we have the other gear over here I think it's the yaw uh, gear and then I've been 3d printing some additional items uh, for it um, these end caps so we don't bumper heads on there. I reprinted one of these. Uh, it was missing, just downloading it from the High Altitude Balloon website. Um, and then we have our space for the modem right here. Um, once we get the modem, it'll plug into the antenna. And we can also mount other uh, items all along this bar, like Yagi antennas and patch antennas, whatever we need to uh, point towards the balloon. Um, then there's also a little bar that comes out that um, it's a uh, IMU, inertial uh, measurement unit. And uh, let's say if you had this on top of a vehicle and you were moving around, it would keep it tracked on the uh, balloon in relationship to the vehicle because it might be turning and stuff like that. I think we'll be stationary, but we could put it on a, a mobile, like on a car, and it would still track the balloon in an emergency, I guess, if we wanted to go mobile and go after the balloon. Um, and then over here, this is where I've been building everything. I've redesigned the uh, IMU unit to hold the, uh, the IMU unit itself, and then the uh, cable, and then it's gonna screw on there, because this one they gave us is too, uh, too loose when you slide it in, uh, slide it in there. Now this little T-slot thing here is not, is not, uh, not super tight on the bar. And I know from these inertial uh, measurement units that they need to be locked into whatever device you're controlling. Um, so I'm gonna use this one here on the screen. Will be much better. That's what's printing over here right now. So it's just getting started. Um, printing it out of red EBS. Okay, um, pretty excited about what we got done so far. And then after this is done, all the mechanical stuff works, we'll do the programming of all the units, uh, the Arduino and the, um, the uh, other parts that go in there. But everything works, and uh, once you have the programming done, everything should be ready to go.